Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we are back on the EVC10. We still have a whole lot of work to do before we leave for SEMA in three days. So we are all very busy. We got Donnie over here designing a frame for our polycup screen. Whoop. Big Steve in the house working on all the lighting for the back of the truck, the tail lights, and the infinity box for the tailgate. We also have Andrew here wiring up all our accessories. Accessories. All the little gadgets. Thank you guys for subscribing, man. We hit 100,000 subscribers today. We are stoked. We're really glad you guys are enjoying the channel and all the stuff that we're putting out for you guys. And we're almost there. And next time you guys see this truck, it will be on the floor in the Toyo Tread Pass in SEMA. So we still have a lot of work to do, so we're gonna get back to it. Got some more gadgets for the EV truck. Our boy James at Sicky Manufacturing hit us up at the buzzer and asked us if we wanted a hydraulic handbrake. Sure. So here we are. We picked out not one, but two really cool handbrakes. Master cylinders, brake line, a lot of popcorn. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. The other one is silver. Ooh, koozie. Let's put them in the truck and see which one we like the best. Yeah, I mean, it definitely matches better. Right next to the pedals. And but the this thing definitely stands out. It's like, hey, look at me. Yeah. going to line up and weld to that and that's all going to bolt right in so now here's the payday we're going to go see if it fits because that is our last piece of material we got you can see it starting to come together i think it looks so sick and this is ready so i can get this off the paint i love gold <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. You rev it to 25,000 RPM, and then right before you get the corner, you go Actually, no, I'm sorry, that's not gonna make any of those noises. It's gonna be It's not hydraulic, and it's not hydraulically connected to the rear wheels in any way. We're just gonna be using it to give a trigger signal for the smart wire to put the Tesla drive unit into full brake regen mode. What that's gonna do is basically gonna stop the wheel as we give it that signal. So our hydraulic handbrake is now just an electrical switch, but this is kind of how it works. Pull back on it, and it gives a, the pressure switch signal in theory it'll stop the wheels with enough momentum to let the car slide all right now we got the sicky handbrake installed the guys are here from city auto glass so let's get that windshield and that back glass put in got these nice carbon fiber APR side mirrors that go along real nice with our carbon fiber wing. So this is our touch screen. That's gonna do a lot of stuff like a Tesla, we think, we hope. This is gonna be mounted over here on this beautiful aluminum bracketry. That's gonna get double-sided tape. It's gonna hold that mofo right there. And then it's a frame that's gonna really finish it off nice. Once the Polycup computer gets here, today only three weeks late but i ain't want to talk supposedly when we turn the truck on a picture of our truck's gonna sit here and rotate and do all kinds of fancy stuff shout out to charlie's cousins Ooh, he gave us bubble wrap man charlie you're a hell of a guy that's two s though
saw Donnie do a heck of a lot of work to these doors. One piece window kit, GTR handles, power window conversion. Who doesn't want power windows in an old square body? We got our rest of our components in to get this door finished up, which is honestly silly little things like this. These little clips that clip into the door and hold the door panel in. Unfortunately, this window scraper is for a stock square body, which typically has the vent window. Carolina Classic Chuck Parts is where we source the one piece window kit. They have been out of stock on the scrapers. There's like 80 barges sitting out in the ocean waiting to come in and unload. I guess that's where our scrapers are. So. I'm gonna try to be nifty. I cut up another stock felt and scraper and I'm gonna see if I can't come up with a way to get it into the door just for SEMA and Sonoma. It's not gonna look the best, but it will look better than that. We got our beautiful custom stockish Door panels installed. I'm really loving how these came out. They're stock, but we altered them to kind of fit the truck a little bit better. And since you guys all bashed us in the comment section on these hood latches, I went back over them and really flush mounted all this hardware. So it looks a lot better. Donnie's also gonna finish up that sway bar that he fabricated the other day, painted it, sat over the weekends looking fresh. He's gonna get that in. And we're gonna head over and get some lighting done, working on the rear tail light and the infinity box on the tailgate. Steve, what's Stevie up, buddy? Boy. Last time we saw you, you were on a little tiny phone. I was on a little, you saw my forehead, man. It yeah, you brought your entire shop down with you. You my moving man. in or what, man, lady? You got everything here. You got all this lighting, all this wires oh, and stuff just, like that. You are the MVP. We drove 12 hours up to Buffalo to get products that we needed. And then we drove another 19 hours down here from the Pittsburgh area. We're getting to work right now, yeah. You have a little treat for us though. You got started on the taillights on the truck. Yeah, These are just crazy. regular C10 lenses that you got and you modified yeah. the crap out of them. Boom. Look at that. Holy crap. So what happens when we hit the brake lights? You hit the brake lights, boom. So these are obviously gonna go right here, guys. And then this big opening right here, we're gonna be doing what's called an infinity box. Yeah, basically two mirrors. One's a see-through mirror picture, a uh, like interrogation room in a police department. And then a regular mirror behind it. And it basically the lights are gonna reflect off each other for infinity. We're gonna do some crazy LED lights. Are you gonna be showing us how you do it or are you gonna just completely make it all a secret? Whatever you guys want, man. I'm here for you guys. We're showing you how we're doing it. All right, let's get to work. All right, I gotta go over to my messy all design. I gotta get these lenses wrapped. On the way out, check this out. What you doing, Felicia? Just putting some stuff to send out. Oh, look at that. Fulfilling some orders for y'all. Sweet. Thanks, babe. Steve, what are you doing? You're standing around doing nothing? The truck done or what, man? Well, check this out. Oh my God, look at that. You got some crazy lights going on in there. Absolutely. What you're seeing right now is one of the limitless show modes available with the module that I used. Can you simulate what happens when we hit the brakes? Uh, yeah. There's some red? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. There are redundant brake lights built into it. If you're using NeoPixels for custom lighting, you always want to do some kind of really bright redundant brake lighting yeah. because the NeoPixels themselves aren't really as bright as you need them to be. Next step is to get this thing wired up to the brake pedal, to the headlight switch, and then we'll be able to get this thing to function with the rest of the truck. Absolutely. Cool. Ah, oh, it's a 
this our poly cup? He like recycled a box. $5,000 computer, he sends it in a recycled box. A little hermetically sealed thingy. Yeah. That's been reused as well. <laughs> I'm glad he put it inside of a case. I guess we have to make a box for it. Box is in there. No, they're just cables. Ooh. What did he do? Reuse an old, like. That's from an HP computer. Yeah, you can see how dirty it is. It's Bro. like from an old computer. We're not used to uh, the electric car game. This is what you get when you're dealing with electric car stuff. Yeah. That's our power? Yeah. So what, we just cut that off and run it to power and ground? A truck can't leave a, a shop, I guess. You have to run an extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> Our MCU from Polycup is gonna be doing a lot of things. It's gonna be a display unit. As you can see, it's powering up right now. It does have a small processor here. So what this is gonna do is gonna have a CAN bus interface and this will be able to stream all the data from our BMS system, the motors, and hopefully eventually we'll be able to do more functions like inputting data instead of just receiving the data. We have a screen that's gonna be able to display our battery state of charge, motor temperature, battery temperature, inverter temperature, as well as it's gonna have navigation. So it's a pretty integrated piece of electronics. We also have an awesome display of our truck on here. We can show different features on the truck. As time goes on, we'll be able to get different items on the screen and be able to connect lights into here and, and you'll be able to see as you turn things on. We have had a f blast of a time building this truck with you guys. The back tail gate, infinity light is in. The brake lights are in. Steve and Mikey crushed it. They're on their way back to Pennsylvania. We have this truck looking real clean. Although we have a couple things in the morning. We got the Polycup computer this morning. So we do have some wiring to clean up before it does get in the trailer. It is really cool, the handbrake's in. So we wanna tell you guys, you know, we ain't perfect, we are human, and we are working with used Tesla parts. So there's always issues when you're trying to use something that other people have salvaged. So I wanna give Henry from Autobahn Dismantling a big thumbs up. He's been really awesome for us. Our front inverter isn't working correctly, so he did ship us out a new one along with four water pumps. Unfortunately, they are sitting in Orlando, so we're not gonna be able to get those in the truck for SEMA. Two of our four water pumps aren't really working, so we're not getting the coolant system flowing like we want. So we really don't wanna take a chance and blow up our battery or our motors. So, you know, we're gonna put around SEMA and Sonoma, and when we get back, it's gonna get readdressed, and we will fix all these little bugs, and then we will do that burnout for you guys, I promise. I promise. Tomorrow, we're gonna take these wheels off, and put those little gunnies on because it does not fit in the trailer like this. And Andrew, Jeanette, and Kyle are about to hit the road in the morning and the rest of us are gonna fly out on Sunday and meet them. Listen, man, we really loved building this truck with you guys. It was our first experience really with YouTube building a complete truck or anything with y'all. And thank y'all for supporting our cause and watching and you know, even your comments, everything's been awesome, man. Really appreciate you guys, right? Yeah, we love you, thank you very much. Right? Yes. Yeah, even Timmy. Love you. Timmy Turbos. Timmy Turbos. We out. We'll see you in Vegas. Peace. Paint, polish, paint. <laughs> Look what we got, guys. We got everything. We got, some, we got some pens. We got a little ruler. We got a notepad. We got brackets. I think we got everything we need to make this happen. Kyle's got two thumbs up. That's a good thing. Just, uh, Hold on. I just got, I got a call coming in from FedEx. Hello? Polycup? Yes, we're here waiting.